Hi everyone, Jason Higginson with AP Systems here. You know, we get a lot of questions uh, about clipping, uh, whether or not it might be good, might be bad. I want to uh, to clear some things up on clipping, uh, why it's important, why you should uh, understand the difference. And uh, that whole conversation really starts with PTC and, and STC on the products. So uh, let's kick that off. Let's talk about uh, the difference between the two. So STC is really the, the nameplate, the, the listing uh, that uh, is on the, the PV module spec sheet. So that's laboratory performance conditions. Um, and the lighting is perfect, where the angle is perfect, the temperature everything is ideal and so the performance comes out to let's say 400 watts for this um, pv module and in the real world it's never going to hit that and that's really what the ptc is that's your more realistic estimate uh, and sometimes they have that on the data sheet and sometimes they don't so what you're going to want to look for is you're going to want to go to this is the cec website california energy commission where they have their list on all of the, the PV modules. So um, you'll see over here, this is uh, Q cells. So you have the nameplate wattage that might be 400 watts and then your PTC, which is slightly less than them. Uh, same whether you're your Q cells or your Canadian solar, same wattage output that's on, listed on the data sheet. And then the PTC is gonna be uh, slightly less. So that's really, that difference between the lab test con just conditions and real world test conditions. So, so now let's talk about why you want some clipping. And that conversation really starts with why do we oversize the PV module to the inverter output uh, to begin with? So part of that argument is the, the STC versus the PTC. You also need to account for some degradation in the panel performance over time. So you have that PTC that might be say 370 watts on a 400 watt PV module, but that's in year one. How is that performance gonna look at year 24? So these are uh, products are warranted for about 25 years. So you need to take that into consideration. You want the, the system to be performing well uh, later on in its lifespan. Increased energy production on the shoulders of the curve. We're gonna talk about what that looks like and, um, and how that happens. So you typically want an AC to DC ratio of 1.2 to 1.3. And what that looks like is a ratio of 1.25 would put a 400 watt PV module on a 300 watt inverter. So let's talk about how exactly that might look. So let's say for instance, here is your inverter AC output. It's a 320 watt inverter you have a 300 watt PV module that you're putting on it. And here's what the performance looks like in a day. This is your bell curve early in the morning, peak sunshine, and then later on in the evening. So if we take that 300 watt PV module, we overlay over the top of it with a 400 watt PV module performance might look like with that 320 watt inverter. And immediately you see that some of the performance is cut off. That's called clipping. So that's the energy that you lose from, uh, from the clipping of the inverter because CE, or the NEC code requires that the inverter can't put out more than a certain amount uh, uh, in order to, uh, to still keep that breaker rating. So we've got this 400 watt perf uh, PV module that's performing really well, um, but we're losing this. So why do we still want to pair that? Well, look at what we're picking up. This is the energy gained by using that, that larger PV module. And as you can see, the output or what you're losing in the clipping here is really dwarfed by what you're gaining in the shoulders of the curve. So compare this 300 watt PV module that's not having any clipping to this scenario in which you have some clipping, but look at what you're also gaining on top of that kind of green area. You're also gaining all of this blue. So in the end, you want to have some clipping. You want it to be appropriately oversized for the performance for, to account for STC versus PTC and to account for that, uh, that possible degradation over time. So that's it 
Clipping Explained. I'm Jason Higginson with AP Systems, and uh, we'll tackle more of your questions soon. Thanks.